What's up, gang? Sean Marshall in the house. It's early. It's uh, 540 Thursday, and I'm just sitting here planning my day and thought I'd just hop on and talk to you a little bit um, about my mindset as I do plan my day. And I want to share a couple things with you. And I use uh, I use a Brendan Burchard planner. So I'm going through that right now. And I'm, I'm thinking about an interview that I did yesterday with Michael Unbroken. And um, I can't wait to share it with you. It's one of the most intense interviews that I've done. And I've interviewed now close to 100 people. <laughs> it's crazy to say that. And uh, this guy, obviously can't tell you the whole story right now, but he grew up in a in a pretty bad environment. So bad that his mother, when he was four years old, cut his finger off. Like on purpose, cut his finger off. He was in a pretty abusive situation. So I was thinking about it and man, he's uh he's a guy that's really on a mission right now. You know, he's very clear and connected to his mission and You know, that's partly why I do these interviews and why I choose the experts that I choose is because they're on a mission and I want you to see that, you know, I want you to see examples of people who are just people just like you, just like me and who are on a mission, you know, something happened, they had a light bulb moment and it set their ass on fire, you know, to make a difference and I was thinking about that this morning, you know, and that these interviews, I obviously have a process to get myself grounded, which I'm doing right now and connected into my own mission and doing these interviews with these experts helps. You know, I talk to one of these experts almost every day in some capacity and kind of being shoulder to shoulder with other people who are on a mission. It's very helpful for me to remind myself of what my mission is. And why that came up is I, you know, as I'm going through my planner, I, I looked at the day that I planned and I was like, all right, this is a full ass day today. <laughs> but if the thing is, if I'm not connected to my mission, then it's a full ass day today. You know, I don't get up early in the morning. I was up 440 today. I don't get up just to have a full day, you know. I get up because I have a mission. So it's a full day because I'm working towards something very specific, you know, towards something that I see in here that I want to see out there in the world, which is a connected world. You know, a world where people are in their personal leadership and are doing the work that they want to do with their life. And that's what lights me up. That's my mission. So what's your mission? You know, what gets you up in the morning? And if it's a have to, which I know a lot of people are in that, you know, I have to get up, I have to go to work, all that kind of stuff. This series that I'm getting ready to release is a must watch for you. It's a reinvent yourself to series. And you've got to listen to these interviews that I do with these experts so that you can connect to your mission, right? So that you can get up early like this or whatever time you want to get up and have a focal point, you know, a mission, something that you're working toward today, something that makes a long, grueling day worth it. Because like, there's nothing worse than having a long, grueling day and it not counting towards something that you really want it to count toward, you know? And so that's what this is about, this Reinvent Yourself 2 series. It kicks off this Sunday. So if you have a purpose and you know that and you're not in it yet fully, you know, you're not in it, you're not living it, you know what that purpose is, but you're not living it, you need to tune into this series and set your intention every single morning. What needs to happen today so that I can step into it? And if you know that you have a purpose and you don't know what that purpose is, then your intention every morning is, I want to find my purpose today. 
and you have even farther than I want to. You know, what's my purpose? And having some quiet time with the sun. Come, look at the sun coming up right now. Look at that. It just peaked. Some quiet time, man, with some music and asking yourself, what is it? You know, what am I here to do? What would light my ass on fire every morning? And then just be open to receive that answer because that's what intuition, it comes to you. You have an answer, but you got to get quiet enough to listen to what that answer is. You know, and if you're somebody who's already on purpose, then what's the next cut for you? Or maybe your career's on purpose, but your relationship is in breakdown. Or you're single and you want to be in a relationship. You know, there's something that you get to transform in your life. And this series is that opportunity to dig under the stones and do that work. So that's my message this morning. I'm kind of whispering because my girl's asleep. She's far enough away that she's, I'm sure she can't hear me, but I don't want to wake her up. So what's your mission? If you're not already plugged in and opted in to the Reinvent Yourself 2 series, I put a link in this email. Opt in, join me. And here's the secret to this series is you don't need more information. All right? You don't. <laughs> information, this phone I'm talking to you on is, is uh, the equivalent of what the encyclopedias used to be at my parents' house when I was a kid, two shelves of encyclopedias. And we have all that knowledge right here in our the palm of our hand plus more. So we don't need more information, right? What you get to do is use this series. This is a pro tip. Use this series and sit your ass down with a pen and paper or a document on your phone or your computer and take notes like pause the interview you know take notes when you hear something important write it down and pause the interview stay present use this interview series to practice being present and listening listening to what they say and then listening to yourself to your intuition so you can develop it and as you're learning from myself and these experts, you're also learning to listen to what comes up and then setting the habit of pausing life to invest a little bit of time that it takes to write it down. Because it's different when you think about it, when you hear it, when you consume information and when you voice it when you write it down. That's a step in the direction of taking action. And that's what you need is you need to take action. We need to, as a culture, we need to shift away from info consumption into action with that information. That's, that's the pro tip for this interview series. And I'll tell you what, I'm the interviewer, I'm the host. And you know what I do? I actually go back and listen to my own interviews and I don't listen to it from a perspective of how can I get better because, I, because I've programmed myself already to do that. I've listened to my stuff for years and years to get better so that's already in me. I go back and listen to the interviews to learn. I actually have a document where I take notes just like I'm asking you to do. Because I'm right there with the expert asking the questions, thinking, how can I ask a question that's going to create value? So when I watch it, it's a different mindset. Now I'm watching it from a listening standpoint. And as I'm listening, I'm also listening to myself like I'm asking you to do, you know, coaching you to do. It's not that I need you to do it, but I'm coaching you to do that. And I fucking learn so much when I do that. I've actually listened to, because I'll listen, um, I'll listen two to three times. 
just depends. If I interview somebody a second time, then I'll go back and listen to the first interview again to get it fresh in my mind so we can have a meaningful conversation and not have too much overlap. And guess what? When I listen the second time, I go back to that document and I take notes again. And you know what? I learn new stuff every time I do that. So it's different being passive, walking around your house, cleaning, you know, working at your desk and passively listening. That's cool, but that's not the that's not the needle mover, all right? So I want to call you forward to join the series if you haven't already and be active. Be active. Set an intention before the interview. Ask yourself, what's my mission before the interview starts? And have that right here in your mind's eye and listen from there. And oh my God, when you do that, it's going to be a meaningful uh, way that you, you didn't spend the time, you invested the time. That's an investment when you do that. So if you're somebody who's like, I'm too busy to do that. You're too busy because you're not connected to moving toward your mission in your life, right? And so it's just a mindset shift. Nobody has another hour in their day. But you can find another hour in your day when it's meaningful, you know? And so that's what, that's what I want to encourage you to do. Make it meaningful and make it count. So, all right, I'm going to get back to my morning. I got a big day ahead of me and I want to go for a walk shortly. And those who don't know me, I do like 10 to 12 miles. So that's a significant investment in time as well. All right, sun be rising, coming up. I'll see you all soon. We start in a few days.